Hey, this is Dave from Max MMA. I'm here at the UFC Expo in Boston with Duff Holmes, Matt Hamill's trainer. What's up? What's going on, Dave? I'm awesome. How are you? Dave, the, the head of uh, MMA websites in New York, man, uh, helping to legalize MMA in New York State right here. Oh, thanks, Duff. Appreciate it, man. How you doing? Awesome. Here? We're here in Boston, UFC Expo, Grappler's Quest. Our jiu-jitsu coach, Bruno Tosis, is about to take the floor and do some grappling. Matt's here this weekend, and what brings Matt to the Expo? Well, anytime there's a fight anywhere within a driving distance of us, we're there. You know, UFC's good to us. They give us tickets to the fight, so we're always go. Um, and then this weekend, with all the stuff going on, we had an opportunity to make, make a little money doing some signings, so a no-brainer. We came out, had some fun supporting Bruno in, in his grappling class there and uh, helping support Hamill the Movie. Hamill the Movie has a booth there at the Expo and been a non-stop line around the corner waiting to meet Matt, see the movie trailer, and get the word out about how good this movie really is. Yeah, I was going to say, I've been at the, uh, at the Hamill booth, movie booth uh, here, and it has been non-stop. I mean, every time Matt shows up, there's a long line of people. And we're right across from the Tap Out booth as well. Uh, tell me about, there's a, there's a connection with the Tap Out guys now with this movie, isn't that right? Yeah, yeah. Hamill the Movie recently partnered up with Tap Out Films as a marketing partner, and uh, it's just unbelievable. They'd really shift the whole marketing level to another, another gear. You know, and by going to Tap Out Films, they're going to get us directly linked into the MMA community. They're the biggest company in MMA. And so it only makes sense that you know we partner up with them and, and move along, and it's you know Evan Cosbar, Joe McAllister, they're just unbelievable the way they've been carrying this movie along, and, and they they made it grow from just an idea and some words on paper to an actual film that's going to be in theaters. It's just unbelievable. Yeah, it's awesome. I've seen the trailer, and it's it looks great. So we're really excited about that. Yeah, it, it's a tearjerker, man. Yeah, be ready to cry a little bit. Uh, speaking of Matt, let's go back in time a little bit. Sure. Uh, when did you first meet Matt, and how, I mean, how did you guys get uh, together? Matt walked into my gym September uh, 2005. Uh, I was really the only gym in town. I was starting to hear stories about him working in a bar. He's a bouncer, and all my friends work there, and they're like, "Oh my God, this, this guy's unbelievable. He's a Steph wrestler, and he's hurting people every time he puts his hands on them." I'm like, "Cool." So I finally got to meet him. I was like. Hey, I got a gym in town. If you want to come over, I'll train with you, you know. Not thinking anything of it. He showed up in my door. He's like, uh, I'm, I'm going to go on the Ultimate Fighter. I was like, really? He's like, yeah. So we started training that day. And first thing I did is I made the mistake of trying to wrestle with him. And I kicked the crap out of me. I was like, all right, there's something special here. Then immediately saw the hole in his game was the striking. So we put together a really solid team, good good coaches. Tim Green's our boxing coach. Master Bunsen Sang is our Muay Thai coach. And uh, we just went with it, you know. We just started studying and training, and I really focused on MMA and how we put everything together. And now it's five years later, and look, he's 10-2 and two and rising star in UFC. And, uh, you know, got Tito Ortiz coming up October 23rd. I think he wins that fight. He's uh, five in a row. And uh, you know, he's looking looking pretty good. Starting to knock on the door again. Exactly, exactly. I think maybe you know, that one and a couple more, and he's going to be talking about his title. Yeah, uh, can you talk a little bit about the Tito Ortiz fight? Yeah, we love the Tito Ortiz fight. Um, you know, everybody thinks Tito and, and Matt are like best friends, which they're really not. I mean, not that there's any bad blood, because Tito was a good coach to him on the show, uh, but they're not the best of friends. You know, they're more of acquaintances. And with the way Tito is, you know, he's, he kind of makes it easy to fight him. He's really good at selling the fight. He's really good at pushing buttons. And that's good for us because we all know Matt's a super nice guy. And I've been on record over the years saying I need you to be more of a fighter rather than a competitor. Finally, I think in the Jardine fight, Matt turned into a fighter. And with Tito kind of poking him a little bit, I think we're going to see a little bit of a pissed off Matt Hamill, which, which will be a great thing. Now, do you, now, I know you don't want to give anything away, obviously, about what's going on in the fight, but do you see this one maybe being on the ground more than uh, his uh, previous fights, or do you think Matt's going to continue to stand? I, I think you probably see Matt stand in this fight. Um, I think Tito's striking is probably his weaker point of his game. Um, I don't think he's changed a lot since since his early days. I think the you know the early 2000, 2004 or five when he had that reign when he was champion, he was a different guy. And then he came back and you know 2006 fought Ken Shamrock and then his fight with Rashad, his fight with Forrest, Machida, he was a different guy then. Now he's coming off a of back surgery and a neck surgery. I think he's a different guy again. Uh, so I love the fight. You know he's a huge name. Regardless of what people think about him, they're going to tune in to see it. And it's going to be a lot of eyes on this fight. And, and Matt's ready. I mean, it's a great matchup for Matt because, you know, we really feel the striking is a lot better. Um, so 
Maybe look for uh, maybe look for some some leg kicks and head kicks. I don't know. Nice. I'll, uh, Mark Munoz. You know it worked, right? It worked, and I'll tell you what, Mark Munoz is you know five times the wrestler Tito Tito Ortiz is, and, and Munoz had a deep high crotch single, and he still couldn't take Matt down. So we're really not too worried about Tito taking Matt down, other than maybe catching him over committing, which Tito's pretty good at. You know, guys over commit, and he changes levels and shoots his double. That would probably be the only way I could see him taking him down. I don't see him just being able to like clinch and drop to anything. So other than that, we're not afraid of that. Uh, I'm not afraid of going chin to chin, just letting him go at it, which is what Matt likes to do, you know. So we'll see how it goes. Should be an exciting fight. I think it's going to be a very exciting fight. Yeah, hopefully another fight in the night. Awesome. Um, backtracking just a second here. There's a story, and I'm not sure it's apocryphal or not, about when uh, people first heard about Matt's fighting abilities when he was a bouncer with some Syracuse football players. Is this true? And if so, can you tell the story? Yeah, it is a true story. Uh, it's two, you know, 300-pound linemen hanging out, getting drunk in the bar, and, uh, you know, throwing beer bottles on the floor, and they were asked to leave. They basically blew off the two bouncers that asked them, so they went and got Matt. Matt came over, and he asked them to leave, and they noticed that Matt didn't speak the same way as everybody else did, so they started making fun of him a little bit, you know, mimicking him the way he talked. So Matt asked him again, listen, I'm going to ask you one more time nicely, you're going to have to leave, or I'm going to make you leave. Well, it, they didn't leave, so... Matt ended up getting a hold of him, and there was feet in the air, and I think an arm got broken, and two guys got hurt by one. So that's the way it goes. And what people don't understand is, I mean, these guys are another breed. When you talk about a world-class fighter, it's a whole other level. You can have your buddy that's a middle linebacker on a football team, and he's a bad dude, but when it comes down to it, a fighter's a different breed, and a fighter's a fighter because that's in, in their blood. They're a fighter. And with Matt, world-class wrestling skill goes a long way. I mean, his hips, his balance, it's unbelievable. I mean, you see what happened on that TMZ video, I don't know if anybody saw it, with Roger Huerta outside of an Austin bar, uh, linebacker for the University of Texas, and former, former uh, I think he played for the Ravens or something, middle linebacker, started a fight, actually knocked out a girl in the streets. Roger Huerta, lightweight, comes out, beats the guy down. You know, this guy's 240 pounds, all muscle. Well, Roger Huerta's 155 pounds. Just goes to show you, that's what, it's a, that's what it means to be a fighter, man. It's in here. Absolutely. Well, I appreciate you taking the time. Looking forward to uh, Matt's fight. Really looking forward also to the movie coming out. And uh, you're doing some great things with him. So uh, congratulations on all that's going on. Thanks. Yeah, we're so excited about the movie. I mean, the movie is like really going to take Matt to a whole other level. I mean, he, he's got his fans in the deaf community. He's had them since day one. Um, he's got his fans in the MMA community because he's you know, put himself in a great career. But what this movie's going to do is it's going to make Matt Hamill a household name. Uh, and when that happens, I mean, the sky's the limit for Matt. He's gonna, every dream he's ever had is going to come true. I mean, he's got a movie coming out about his life. He's in a video game. There's an action figure of him. I mean, what more could every kid ask for? A trading card. Unbelievable for you know, some little deaf kid out of Ohio doing all this, man. He, I'm proud of him. He's proud of himself, and his family's very proud of him. And the sky's the limit for Matt Hamill. Mike.